Okay, welcome back. DJ Vic Paper with you. And we're taking a look at the drummer editor. And let's take a little bit closer look at some of the features um, we were discussing in lesson one and kind of expand on that. Or part one, I'm sorry. So we've got different genres to pick from. Rock, alternative songwriter, so forth. Some of these may not be available to you depending on what you've downloaded as far as the essentials versus additional content. But uh, let me select Kyle, because what I want you to see is the difference in the way it's viewed over here. Currently we have these uh, um, images available for you, but if we select a different drummer, now we've actually got a drum set. So Kyle will be playing off of a drum set, and depending on what we want to hear within our section, we, we can turn on and off right here on the drum set. So if I don't want to hear the kick drum, I just click on it and say I want to hear toms and I want to hear cymbals. You just click on what you want and then it's updated. And then our variation or slider control right there. Say we want a little bit more percussion. Add more fills or take fills away. And it should be affecting everything right here for us. Let's just move up to this region and live right here for a little bit. So we can say no toms in this section, toms, kick drum off, kick drum on, and then we can change our variation slider here to get more or less of that. And take the clap away, add some shaker, and change the variation on that. And we've got fills all the way up, so it's almost like a non-stop fill for us. We can turn fills completely off keep fills up a little bit but let's say the fill isn't happening exactly where we want it within the uh, piece here so what I do is I highlight it hold down command to activate my marquee tool pick a section and now we've got that individual section available to us and it's we can highlight it down here and say you know what we want that section to have more fills than anything else. So now when we come back, that particular section is loaded with fills. In this section, we can turn the fills down and treat it a little differently. So that's how you would go in and micro edit maybe fills or different percussion sounds. You can just chop up throughout the lane or the region here, and each one is going to be treated differently down here. For instance, I can turn the kick off on this guy. I can come back over here, hold command down, get my marquee tool out, highlight a section. And now on this particular section that we've got highlighted, I can say I don't want any toms, I just want the tambourine, uh, I don't even want the kick. And you see how that's changed for us right there. So it gives you an idea how to kind of micro edit or micromanage within the drum editor itself and, and change from different drum patterns and get different drummers and options and things like that. So let's move on to the next lesson.